Cheese Boy had a fucking problem with me. So I had a problem with fucking Cheese Boy. If you go back, Cheese Boy became one of my like all time vendettas. I don't forget. I've said it. I grudge hard. That's one of my arch nemesis. So Cheese Boy was a like grilled cheese shop in New England. And I had a Cheese Boy with Renee. We had a, we had a grilled cheese sandwich, both of us. It was good. Dave loved Cheese Boy. And he loved it so much that he blogged about it. Cheese Boy didn't say anything. Dave tweeted about it. Cheese Boy didn't say anything. I tweeted at Cheese Boy like, hey, great, great grilled cheese sandwich. And he didn't reply. And he was, Dave was just kind of like, what the fuck? Who I am? I'm like pumping this guy's tires. Like he's just starting out this business and, and he would not respond to him. He spit in the face of our leader. He, he slapped, the, slapped the face of our president. What's the first thing that you think of when I say the word Cheese Boy? Yeah, I, we don't like to talk about cheese. I'm not, I don't even think I should be talking about Cheese Boy right now. He's hated that much. Cheese Boy never did acknowledge him, I don't think. I think what really set Dave off course uh, and went off the rails was when Cheese Boy tweeted at the First Lady. Um, and then Renee tweeted. Like, I love Cheese Boy. Hey, good, like, grilled cheese sandwich. And Cheese Boy came out of the woodwork. And he replied right away, being like, thank you. And then, like and Dave was just standing there with his dick in his hands and he was he, I think he felt slight I looked a little closer at like cheese boy and he replied to literally everybody it became kind of like a personal vendetta to try to get cheese boy to like acknowledge him so it became obvious like cheese boy was uh blackballing me for some reason like he intentionally was not responding to me I don't grudge for like public approval I grudge because I'm upset or I hate you I want to ruin you on a professional level. Do you think it's been long enough where you could eat a cheese boy in front of Dave and Dave think that that was funny? I would never eat a cheese boy ever, whether Dave's there or not there. It's not worth it. And I don't think he would find it one bit funny. Who do you remember eating a cheese boy and, and drawing that line in the sand. I feel like it had to be that idiot Muskie, right? Well, Muskie's one of the all-time fucking idiots. But, but Muskie's an idiot, so that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. I, um, I mean, it's just a moronic thing to say, really. Right. The closest I came to having a cheese boy is I took an intern, Muskie, what a legend, took him to lunch once at the mall, the same mall. I ordered something from my next door and he was kind of like, I'm gonna have Cheese Boy, and I'm gonna try Cheese Boy. So Musky like got Cheese Boy. And I was like, go for it, dude. Like, of course. And someone tattled on him, probably Gaz, if I know Gaz. I think I took, I think I sniped a picture of him doing it and either tweeted it out or texted it to Dave. Gaz, sales guy, sends me this picture yesterday. I don't know if you can see it here on the computer but it's a blog, uh, it's, it's Muskie eating at Cheese Boy. And then Muskie was like, I did it as a joke. And then I think, yeah, 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 because he was like, it was a joke. Now, I don't know whether this was a joke. And then Dave was like, I didn't find it very funny. You know, this isn't, this isn't the way to get on my good side. He's like, no, 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 it wasn't a joke. This yeah. picture, what is that? That's me eating Cheese Boy. Why? I tried it out for the first time. Was it a joke? Yeah, I was joking around. You were? Yeah. You never told me about it, though. Yeah, it was... It, it wasn't a joke, they, that kid was all fucking mixed up. It's like, but Muskie didn't mean for me to find out about it. So it's like, well, what kind of joke is it if I didn't know about it? It was or it wasn't a joke? Were you eating it to be like, oh, he'll blog us and it'll be funny, or you just wanted no, to taste it? I just wanted to try it, my first time trying it. He's like, well, and then he probably fucking cried because he's Muskie. He failed that test miserably. Like, I mean, I thought the easy answer for him would have probably been, yeah, I did it as a joke, we're going to blog it, ha ha, we'll all laugh. He didn't go that route. Maybe it was too early, maybe he didn't realize just who Dave Portnoy was, but uh, Muskie, I think, is the only guy I've known to really break, uh, break ranks and have cheese boy. Where do you think this ranks in terms of um, Dave Portnoy grudges? Currently, I'd love to know where it stands. I mean, back then it was top of the it was top of the food charts. Like it was Cheese Boy, it was like Mayor Menino, who used to steal Dave's like paper racks that he you know that used to freak Dave out. But it was the top of the things. Now I think Dave's just fought with everyone in the world, so it's probably like top like fifty. But still, when he's fought with a thousand people, fifty is pretty high up there. I really didn't like him. Um...
I don't know, top 10, top 20. I don't know. I've had a lot of grudges. I mean, Cheese Boy has his own things he's got to, you know, he's he stands for. And, and evidently, Dave Porter was not one of them. If you could ever get Cheese Boy to talk about this, I try to get it to do for a documentary because I think it would be fascinating to hear Cheese, Cheese Boy's take. I think Cheese Boy hates Dave with like the, like a Laura Wagner type hate. And it burst a uh, lifelong rivalry. Would you ever consider opening your own grilled yeah. cheese spot? You would. Yeah, I mean, it's not something I lay awake thinking about, but if the opportunity presented itself and someone's like, hey, we need you to invest in a grilled cheese franchise just to stick it to this kid, I would. Is it the longest standing grudge? If they, I mean, I guess it's over now that they're gone, right? Or that they're out yeah, of business? Well, they hung around, right? They hung around. I, I just put everybody who crosses me out of business. So they did hang around for a little bit, but they've been gone for a long time. They're just an early grudge. There's, so, there's tons of early grudges. I just forget how. I put people out of business. Never again will you see Dave just continually throwing himself at the feet of someone who's not even paying attention to him. If Jeez Boy had played their cards right, I mean, they could have been fucking global by now. But they just kind of, I mean, that's why it was probably a true grudge. Like, those people, I just think, don't like Dave Portnoy. It was not a game. It was not a joke. They're just like, we're not going to fucking tweet this guy because he's a dick.